Hey there, this is James with Code WP, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the core changes that we just shipped with version 2.7. And version 2.7 is a relatively small update compared to version 2.5, as was version 2.6. Pretty small updates compared to 2.5, which was a major overhaul of the entire platform, making the AI much better, more accurate, quicker better stability, better interface, the whole nine yards. So if you haven't used CodeWP in some time, I invite you to come back because it is an awesome platform that does exactly what it's made for, creating great code for WordPress, leveraging custom AI. So let me tell you about version 2.7. This is a bit of a small change, but it's a UI change that is very noticeable in the platform. And this UI change makes things a lot easier to understand on both the user side of things, but also CodeWP's AI's side of things as well. And if you've used the platform for some time now, you'll see the core change reflected here in the dashboard, but also everywhere else throughout the platform. And that is that individual snippets have kind of been disappeared. And that doesn't mean that you can't use CodeWP to create individual snippets. It just means that there's a new way to think about things. And that new way to think about things is the core generation being a package. So we've always had packages CodeWP packages are used to manage multiple snippets, organize them, and also create plugins from those packages. Here you can see I have a whole bunch of different packages, and some of these packages contain multiple files. Some of them are plugins. Some of them are just created to organize a bunch of things together, so scripts for my cool project. And many of them are single file packages that's a package that contains one individual snippet. And if you've generated code on CodeWP before and they've been single snippets, you'll just see all of these single snippets, they're reflected here, but they're also reflected as packages now as well. So it's an unnamed package that contains the snippet that you've created. And this is really a UI change because CodeWP has always actually created an unnamed package for whatever snippet you've generated in the past, we've just shown you those individual snippets extracted from those packages and shown within that UI. But now we have packages, and packages are the core generation that you have in the platform. And I'm gonna show you why this makes things a lot easier and better within CodeWP. So I'm gonna click Create New, and you'll see that now there are three options as opposed to two, where I can create a new package. This package can be a single file, or it can be used to organize a bundle of related snippets we can also create a plugin, which is really just a type of package that tells CodeWP's AI, hey, this is supposed to be a plugin, so let's go and create the proper structure, the proper headings, the whole nine yards, make it as a plugin, and then the user can export it and install it on their WordPress website accordingly. And of course, we still have our chat feature. Everything else still exists, so the modes exist, the presets exist. It's really just, we've gone ahead and created packages as our core generation. Even if it's a single snippet generation, that snippet will be contained within a package just to make things a lot easier to understand. So I'm going to go and create a new package. And you can now see this new package and the interface that you've always used to generate code is pretty similar to what version 2.6 and beyond or before has had, except now every file within this editor workspace is related and created within this unnamed package. So if I go and create index2, index2.php, this index2 will be in my unnamed package. If I go and create styles.css, that file as well is within this package. We can no longer create multiple packages within this editor. That doesn't mean you can't be doing multiple packages at once. It just means that if I want to, I click create new and make a new package. And if I want it in a new browser tab, I can open it in a new tab. And I did that with a shortcut, but I can very easily just open the link in a new tab and go and make my new package. This makes things a lot simpler and a lot easier for both the user to understand because they know all of these files are in this individual package. They're all related. It also makes it a lot easier for the AI to understand. Previously, when somebody re related or referred to a specific file within this conversation, CodeWP would have to figure out, okay, we have dozens of packages open, many, many files. What do I even begin looking at 
to understand what this user is referring to. And if you were very detailed with your prompt, it would be quite accurate. And if you also only had a few files or one package open, it would be very accurate. But as these collections of files within the workspace grew, the accuracy could drop. So now that's been completely fixed because everything in here is known to be within this specific package. So if I go to CodeWP, and I'll turn this off for the demonstration purposes, all of these conversational settings now also apply to this individual package. But if I go to CodeWP and I ask, what files are in this package? It will be very, very accurate and say, here are the three files that you have open. Here's what the three files do if there were to be code in them. Right now, they're just empty files for this demonstration, but here's what they would do. Um, it's very easy for me to understand what's going on. So the one that we have open now, styles.css, it mentions right here. And then the other two are these various things. And it's gonna just give me a, a interpretation of what it thinks all of these files could do, primarily because it's empty. If it wasn't empty, it would say, here's what all of the code does within the files. Um, so that's kind of the new approach to creating code in CodeWP. And of course, we can, we can continue to make individual snippets. We can continue to copy the code directly out of that snippet, download it as a PHP file, or in this case, a CSS file, leverage the various modes. But now everything in this workspace is a single package. It makes things a lot easier. Here you can actually rename the package directly from within the editor, give it a description, say all of these scripts are related to this project and they do X, Y, and Z. You can also download it as a zip and it's very easy to handle everything at once. Now, if I go back to create new, I'll show you what the package does, which as I mentioned before, it's really just a type of package. I misspoke. I'll show you what the plugin does and it's really just a type of package that goes ahead and says, all right, CodeWP, this user has selected this package to be a plugin. Let's go and try and create the best plugin we possibly can. So I'll go and say right here, make, make a plugin that has a short code. And that's a basically basic and open-ended request and I'll say generate me some code for this and what it will do is create a plugin with the proper headers that can easily be installed into WordPress. So it's the same functionality as oh I'm just going to make one file. This one file is now just within this unnamed plugin package and it's called unnamed package instead of or unnamed plugin instead of unnamed package because the type is not a snippet group, it's a plugin and it's meant to be used as a plugin. So these headers are installed and it should be able to be installed on WordPress pretty easily as a plugin. You'll see here the preview feature that we shipped in 2.5 has also been updated to handle the new approach with packages. So this package right here, while it might contain an individual file, that individual file is within our plugin and this has been tested and it works well on WordPress so we could go ahead and continue testing it elsewhere. Now if I break the actual code, so this will break the PHP, You'll notice that my testing feature, my preview feature, it still works well. So I'll just jump into that. And everything breaks as, as expected. The testing feature still works well. So CodeWP will go back and say, all right, I'll go and fix this for you within the context of the files within that package. So this is the new approach that we have with CodeWP. And I say new, but it's not really any change to the way the platform works. It's just a simplification of CodeWP to make it easier for you, the user, to understand what's going on, as well as the AI to understand what's going on. I can still make as many packages as I want. I can still make packages that contain individual snippets that aren't meant to be plugins or plugins that have multiple files, but everything simplified where if I create a single file, this single file will always be contained within a package. If I create multiple files within this workspace, they're all going to be related to this open package right here. And if I wanna make a new package, I just go and say, all right, let's go and make a new package and create whatever I want here. Everything in the dashboard is still very accessible. Um, the individual snippets as well are very accessible. You can open them as that individual snippet view that you've come to expect. You can share them accordingly. 
So if I jump into this single snippet right here, I can still share it publicly. I can still fork it, do the whole nine yards, except it's within this package that I can then go and open up, download as a zip, install as a plugin, the whole nine yards. So that's the change in 2.7. Makes things a lot easier to use. I hope you enjoy using CodeWP. It's gotten really good at what it does over the past couple of releases. And we have a lot more in store for you in the coming releases that will just serve to make it even better.